It's math time! So, we are now in quarter 1, module 3, Rational Algebraic Expression. Directions, give the values of x to make the expression equal to 0 and find the domain of each Rational Algebraic Expression. So, are you ready? So, I will give examples for you to answer this. Let's go! Okay, so let's have this. So, give the values of x to make the expression equal to 0. So, let's have number 1, x plus 7. Okay? So, to answer this, to find the values of x, ang kailangan natin gawin is to equate this expression to 0. So, ang mangyayari, magiging x plus 7 is equal to 0. Next. So, to find the values of x, ang kailangan natin gawin is to subtract minus 7 to both sides of the equation para matira si x dun sa left side. So, minus 7 and then magma-minus din 7 tayo dito. So, our final answer now is x is equal to negative 7. So, positive 7 minus 7, so that is 0. And then, 0 minus 7 is equal to negative 7. So, our answer now is x is equal to negative 7. Okay, so let's have number 2. So, 15 minus 3x. So, dito, uh, ang first goal ulit natin is to equate this expression equal to 0. So, our expression now, or our equation now will be 15 minus 3x is equal to 0. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, so meron tayong 15 and then negative 3x. So, ang goal kasi ulit natin dito is matira ang x dun sa left side. So, ang unang gagawin natin is mag-add tayo, uh, mag-minus tayo, rather, minus 15, and then minus 15 din dito sa right side. So, kung bakit, is para ma-eliminate ko si 15 dito sa left side. So, 15 minus 15, so this is equal to 0. So, ang remaining ngayon natin is negative 3x is equal to 0 minus 15, so that is negative 15. Okay, next. So, meron pa tayong negative 3 na numerical coefficient dun sa variable. So, to eliminate negative 3 at si x na lang yung matira dun sa left side. So, magdi-divide tayo ng negative 3 both sides. So, negative 3 divided by negative 3. So, this is equal to 1. So, x is equal to negative 15 divided by negative 3. So, this is equal to positive 5. So, our x now is equal to positive 5. Okay, next, number 3. So, ang given natin is 3x times the quantity x squared minus x minus 20. So, dito kung mapapansin nyo, ah... Uh, Meron tayong dalawang factor. So, yung unang factor is yung 3x. At yung isang factor natin is x squared minus x minus 20. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, yung isang factor natin is pwede pa siya ulit i-factor using general trinomial. So, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng dalawa pang factor. So, it means magiging tatlo yung value ng x natin dito. Okay. So, yung first is equate this expression. So, magiging 3x times the quantity x squared minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. And then, first, kunin natin yung value ni x dun sa 3x. So, 3x is equal to 0. So, divide both sides by 3. So, 3 divided by 3. So, this is equal to 1. 
So, x now is equal to 0 divided by 3. So, this is equal to 0. So, meron na tayo yung isang value nung x. Next, yung x squared minus x minus 20. So, equate ulit natin to sa 0. And then, to find the values of x, i-factor natin. So, negative 20 yung last term natin. Ano ba yung factors ng negative 20? Nakapag ined natin, ang sagot ay negative 1. So, ang possible na factors kasi nun is negative 5 times 4. So, it means ang factor niya ay x minus 5, x plus 4. Ngayon, equate natin yung bawat isa to 0. So, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, it means x is equal to positive 5 x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, this is x is equal to negative 4. So, the values of x natin to make the expression equal to 0 is 0, 5, and negative 4. Okay? Ngayon, dun sa number 1 natin, so yung x plus 7 so, kung ang tanong is, give the domain of each rational algebraic expression. So, for example, yung x plus 7 yung denominator mo dito. So, ang magiging answer mo ngayon dito is, domain is equal to all real numbers except negative 7. Okay? Doon naman sa number 2, kung ang denominator mo ay 15 minus 3x, so, ang magiging domain mo ngayon is domain is equal to all real numbers except positive 5. Okay? And then, yung last, yung number 3, kung ang denominator mo naman is 3x times the quantity x squared minus x minus 20, so, ang magiging domain mo ngayon dito is domain is equal to all real numbers Except 0, 5, and negative 4. Okay? So, yun. Okay, so let's have number 6. So, let's now find the values of x to make this expression equal to 0. So, ang maging equation ngayon natin is 4x squared minus 23x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, to find the values of x, okay, so we will factor this using general trinomial with a is greater than 1. Kasi yung uh, numerical coefficient natin dun sa first term is 4. So, mas mata sa 1. Kaya gamitin natin yung AC method. So, yung AC method kasi is multiply natin si first term tsaka si last term, yung numerical value nila. So, 4 times negative 6. So, that is negative 24. Okay? And next, kukunin ngayon natin yung mga factors ni negative 24 na kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay negative 23. So, ang possible factors na yun ay negative 24 times 1. Okay? So, yung negative 24 tsaka 1, i-split natin ngayon si negative 23x. Kaya, ang bagong equation ngayon natin is 4x squared minus 24x plus x minus 6. So, si negative 23x tsaka si negative 24x plus x, parehas lang yan. Okay? In-split lang natin sila. So, kung bakit natin ginawa yun, kasi ipa-factor natin to using by uh, factoring by grouping. So, i-group natin si 4x squared minus 24x, tsaka si x minus 6. So, dito walang ganong problema kasi yung middle natin, yung operation ay plus. So, walang magbabago ng sign dito. So, now let's factor 4x squared minus 24x by common monomial factor. So, ang common monomial factor or yung GCF nila is 4x. So, let's factor out 4x. And then, to find the other factor, i-divide natin si 4x dun sa each term. 
So, dun sa 4x squared tsaka sa negative 24x. So, 4x squared divided by 4x. So, that is x. And then, negative 24x divided by 4x. So, that is negative 6. So, minus 6 siya. Plus. So, copy na lang natin to. And then... Let's factor out yung common binomial. So, yung common binomial kasi dito is yung x minus 6. So, ang factor ngayon natin is... Uh, so, ang factor ngayon natin ay x minus 6 times... Ayun. So, kunin mo to. So, 4x... Plus... So, wala kang nakikita pero may 1 dyan. So, 4x plus 1. So, ngayon, nakuha pa lang natin yung factor ni 4x squared minus 23x minus 6. Ngayon, alamin na ngayon natin yung values ng x. So, dito dalawa yung factor na, uh, dalawa yung value ng x natin. So, let's equate this to 0. And then, yung x minus 6 din to 0. So, x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, this is x is equal to positive 6. And then, yung 4x plus 1. Okay? So, i-eliminate muna natin si positive 1. So, magma-minus tayo ng 1 both side. Both sides of the equation. So, magiging 4x is equal to, so this is 0 na, so 0 minus 1, so this is negative 1. Ngayon, so meron pa tayong numerical coefficient dun sa term natin na 4x, so to eliminate 4, so divide natin both sides by 4. Okay. 4 divided by 4, so that is equal to 1, so matitira na lang is x. So, x now is equal to negative 1 fourth. Ngayon, kung yung ang given mo sa algebraic expression, ang denominator ay 4x squared minus 23x minus 6. So, to find the domain, okay, so ang domain ngayon natin is, domain is equal to all real numbers except, 6 and negative 1 fourth. Okay?